into the wild blue yonder. Okay, good to see you again as always, and I'm glad to see that you're working. <laughs> always. That's a joke, son. You work harder <laughs> than anybody in all my life I've known. And in the audience, welcome, welcome very, very much Conver to Conversations, a dear friend of Conversations, that being Carl Pearson, or Carl Person, how pronounced both ways and in any way you can pronounce it. He's a very interesting and very dedicated to uh, justice in a broad general sense, and he's very enthusiastic now because after a long and distinguished career, we could go into in some detail, he's running for uh, the office of Attorney General of New York State and claims that this is perhaps the most powerful government, the most powerful government position within our system in terms of bringing long delayed and long overdue elemental justice to the vast majority of the people of the state of New York and perhaps the United States and perhaps the world, if I'm not mistaken. I can but say it in, in fewer words. You can say it in fewer words. Try haiku. Uh, okay. Carl, it's good to see you. And <laughs> talk a little bit you. about where you are now. Well, where I am now is that I have figured out that the office of the New York State Attorney General is the most powerful elected office in the country. Okay, now that's a serious major premise. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think that Congress is capable of the way it works mm -hmm. and the way you've seen it work over Federal the years. Federal Congress, yeah. Right. Do you think it's capable of resolving these problems? Which problems? The well, the economic exist? problems that we have. Well, I watched C-SPAN for about four hours with all those people talking about the derivatives and everything, and it really is hard to understand. I don't quite understand it. I think they've got a real problem in terms of coming to a just settlement well, to the ineptitude of the system. Wouldn't you suspect that it's Congress that created the problem? Well, there would have been a hand in it, right. the legislative right. process. And they and haven't done anything to cure the problem. Well, yes, although if we're talking now, if I may, we're talking about a picture, uh, I think, big picture, you know, and I think, yeah, there's a... There's a liberation brewing in the sidelines ha, of the human the, conditions. It's not characteristic of history. It involves virtually every paradigm and every institution that exists on the planet in a serious transformative way that is, uh, makes this the most crucial moment in the evolution of consciousness. That's the way I feel. So I'm looking at it in a very large pattern. Wouldn't you say that, that too big to fail caused us to try to save some institutions by having them merge and even create larger organizations that are even more too big to fail. Yeah, well, they did, didn't they? Well, you know, uh, they, how, when they does that stop? They let Lehman go down. And when does that. that stop? Yeah, right, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, well, okay. I, I could stop yeah. it as Attorney yeah. General. Okay. Imagine if I brought an action or a proceeding mm -hmm. to investigate whether a particular institution trying to do business in New York in fact, is too big to fail because if it did fail, it would cause havoc to New Yorkers. Well, so, not only to New Yorkers, it would ca cause havoc. Like uh, it would cause havoc to the havoc to the international economic order. Well, so the whole system would collapse. So That's why, so why don't we try to find out which organizations, in fact, are too big to fail, and then take steps to stop them from operating unless they get back to a proper size? The only thing is, you keep incorporating other and other, other and other institutions. It's all interrelated, and it becomes it's every institution. Every institution, in my assumption, I don't, I don't okay, want to let, let, let me tell you what they did in 34. Every institution that we have, everything we've inherited out of history, paradigm of paradigm of par educational systems and human nature, all our assumptions are out of date with what the future requires. It's a massive, almost like punctuated equilibrium moment in terms of like evolutionary development that we have to go through. So you can't define it just one part of an overall system. The whole system has to be qualitatively seen to be in need of an alternative which is not being offered by oh, okay. our political or, or now, political now the or largest, economic leaders. The largest and wealthiest individuals and corporations corporations worldwide, mm -hmm. not just American corporations, right. but worldwide corporations, Sovereign funds. give the money for your current 
elected officials to run for office and to remain in office so that they can defeat any opponent. So that, that money that comes money into talks, them, the yeah. money comes into them and yeah. has established a group of people who are, as of right, remain in office as your, quote, representative, unquote, and have done nothing but have destroyed the economy. Uh, they they well, destroy the economy okay. because they're not looking out for your interests. They're only looking to try to get more money from the people that give them money, and they have to bend over and, and give the wealth of the country away to these people in order to get reelected. Well, that's more or less. I think that's correct. Okay. And it well, seems I can to change it's that. Always, it's always been like. But that. I can change that. Okay, because, that's a big order. Because yeah. in, in here's, okay, in yeah, here's, I don't want to get off on my hobby horse. Well, here, here, yeah. here's the way to do it, and and I've thought about this for a long time. Where is the change going to come from? The people who are corrupt that are taking the money, you're going to go out and convince them on your show that they shouldn't be corrupt. Is that well, likely? I could, no, I, I wouldn't go that well, line. Do you think the newspapers that support them are unaware of the corruption? Uh, I, I don't like the word corrupt. Well, it, what I think people yeah. are doing is not, uh, or the larger issue, it, it isn't corrupt. It's just they're doing what people do. You well, know? It's not corrupt. They're, they're, they're giving away American wealth to the people that I mean, don't corrupt, need it. Corrupt indicates that somebody's done something wrong, knowingly or something, and it's more serious than that. It's the assumptions, the systemic assumptions of the entire way in which I would use the term spaceship Earth operates, which is not adequate to what the technological development and our status in the universe requires for the future of a liberated order which is in the offing now. So that's a larger context. Well, wouldn't you say that it is political corruption if you give away a trillion dollars to banks that don't need the money and you don't give a penny away to create employment opportunities for the people that are not working? Well, you see, I've got a problem here. I yeah, want you to tell right, your thing. Right. I want, no, listen, I don't want to get into my thinking because <laughs> my thing is synergy and I think the employ we're going to have to have some other way to distribute demand other than employment. Right. I think employment and the labor theory of value that informs all economic theory from Keynes to Schumpeter. See, but you're to 100 Van years Hyatt. or 50 years beyond well, right no, today. Well, I think it's, it's, it's immediate, and I think it's really, I think we're confronted more and more with a thing that is uh, confounding everybody because it's going to be, you hear it on the lips, a, a jobless recovery. And the only way they have to get income to the poor people or make up the society in general is through having but, what but, they call but, but, a job on the estate that is owned by the few people who own all the capital see, assets. See, but but what you're so doing... It's not corruption. What, what, it's, just, uh, you know, it's just a lack of vision. That's what it is. Well, they, they have the vision, and their vision is... I don't that think they do. They do. They, their vision is that they're going to take all the money and eliminate the middle class. <laughs> well, and, and it's working. Well, It's okay. pretty successful. I mean, and Matt, can, can, you know, one year ago mm. I wouldn't have said this, but okay. I'm willing to say it now. Okay. Something different. I haven't okay. said it yet. Yeah. And that is that one year ago I, I sort of scoffed at the idea mm -hmm. that the people in charge, the people in power are deliberately giving us a substandard educational system. I think more and more that they really intend to have one that's substandard because, after all, you don't want a lot of bright intelligent, knowledgeable people in the middle class bringing pressure to make change. You, well, really, you really prevent the change by crippling the economy, making people have to work twice as long. They have no time to get active, to go on shows and try to make any change at all. Mm -hmm. They don't have the tools because they can't even understand what a derivative is. They don't, they don't understand enough. We're not teaching them enough. And, and yet we overpay the people that teach. And that's part of this deal with the devil. Derivatives, yeah. I guess, have been around since Periclean Greece, in a sense, with the olive future market. But the derivatives are an essential part of international banking. I'm glad to see uh, Mr. Bloomberg went in support of derivatives. I think it's an important part may, may, of the may banking I, may uh, I operation. May I tend to Except disagree? Nobody, they get into things where it gets let, to be so complex, nobody can let, understand. Let me, let Three me, hours let me I listened point to out. it on the C-SPAN. Nobody, there was a lady in the background, Carl. There was a lady okay. in the background. She you know, should be on C-SPAN. And the guys are talking about the pl plumb rate and the, sex, the third power and the this and the that and were, all these questions. And she was going, she, was, she didn't know she was being televised. She was going, hmm. Nobody can understand okay, now, what they're saying, but they seem to have some understanding of this very intrinsic. Now let me let me cut exotic, your legs off. Uh, I want to okay. cut your legs okay, off now. Okay, yeah. I've been thinking about Mayor Bloomberg and his 
appeal to Congress not to hurt the people who are stealing money from the rest of the well, world. He, was, he, he, had, he, he, he did uh, initiate, there was a tendency on the part of people who can't understand what the hell derivatives but, are, but let me, and let me, swaps and credit swaps and everything. Do, do and you, he's appealing that we have to have that part of the economics equation there in order to adequately deal with the various levels of risk in, uh, in contracts and so forth. Yeah, but, but we and have, I agree with okay, him. We, we, yeah, we have, they form a protective, we, an important role. We, we have a lot of skullduggery in Wall Street that is making excessive profits and that allows a distribution of $500,000 a year to workers on the average as a, Chris, a Christmas bonus. Yeah, it, you mean at the big house? They're, they're yeah. stealing money from people. That that's how Wall Street well, works. We, they, we, before the camera started yeah. rolling, I, how yeah. do, how what do they do? What do bankers do? What's they the steal big, money. What's the big they're, one they're, they're money Goldman changers. Sachs. They're money changers. They're mon well, that's all. Right. Money that's all. changers. Yeah. They sell. They sell. They monetize your mortgage. They monetize anything. They monetize the 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 changes in weather or temperature. They, they have found a way to have the universal casino by monetizing each and everything. They can say that if this cup doesn't fall off the thing here, we'll give you 20 cents in 10 years if it doesn't fall off. They, they create gambling contracts out of anything. Well, the derivatives... And swaps are a way to deal with the various levels but of the, risk. But they have they, they in an insurance they, way, but, but, which I think but is they're allowing we need. people to buy the insurance that have no insurable interest. That's the problem. Well, More, most of the insurance they sell are to people that don't need it. No, I yes, know a lot they're of gamblers. They're, 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 well, they're, the whole they're well, system they're is a big well, But, but why do we have laws prohibiting gambling, but we allow the Wall Street to create you know, this casino? I know, yeah. but listen, you don't yeah. understand the, the, the malleability of our principles of morality. You're yeah. old enough yeah. to remember, Carl. We used to have, I can remember television ads where they were exorcising the population in general. Uh, public service announcements by our public spirited citizens right. of non, you know, and they're saying gambling, gambling is an evil thing. And gambling is something that's right up there with drinking because the man's going to get drunk and then go out and gamble away the milk money for the kiddies. And so it's a terrible moral you know, a terrible, terrible thing morally. And so they would argue strongly against more. They, they'd, they'd bust a couple guys running numbers up in Harlem or something on an illegal thing. Right. But they did. Now you notice when they've realized they could see a source of revenue, it's now your patriotic duty to run the lotto. So, so let's, let's... Do you understand the shift know, in basic morality? And gambling is probably the worst, more destructive than okay. drinking or anything so, else. So, but now they're backing it. Okay, now, you if, 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 you, if you would eliminate the money that New York City receives from Wall Street and its gambling income, derivatives and all of those monetization and all the gambling, the unnecessary sales that aren't for the purpose of protecting some interest, but just speculators going in there and buying and selling. Well, I, wouldn't, if you would, I would not want to associate that necessarily yeah. with the derivatives and swaps. Well, it's I all think that's an important it, it, thing it's, that we it's, need. It's, it's, it's all interrelated. And and the problem yeah, is that it's yeah. all being done for the benefit of the few who are already wealthy okay, and now, not for the people. So New York City says that it wants that gambling money, and it also takes casino money. Or lottery money, and right. it also takes tobacco money, and right. it also takes cigarette money, right. he's and gonna, it also he's and it also and it also it also confiscates the the wealth of drug dealers. Mm -hmm. So it takes now, drug that's money. A biggie, yeah. Now, if you take away all of these monies that mm -hmm. New York City is financing itself with, mm -hmm. you really have nothing left because the people don't make any money here in New York City. Uh -huh. We don't have any industry. We yeah. have eliminated the industry. We yeah. have only people who either steal money or they hope to beg for money. But mm -hmm. we don't have a middle class. We're losing it. It's, it the banks, for example, have, built, have bought up so much of the available space for their own store operations mm -hmm. in order to get more and more customers for their usurious products. Thank you. We got around that. Right. When did we get around that, Carl, in the Western world? When and how do we get around We have all to the enforce the laws of usury, but the federal government usury. But the federal government said that if the banks and the credit card companies are allowed to charge usury. Yeah. So I have a solution for that. 
two oh, solutions. Okay. Yeah, let's stop okay. talking about my thing. Okay. I mean, I'm talking. You ask me questions that I can't answer okay. except in the way I see things. Okay. Right? So what I want to do is you to be able to lay out your vision okay. of it, which does see things a little bit differently. Fair enough. That's good. Lay it out. Okay. The, the attorney general could really address the inequities that exist, uh, obviously within the news as it's being reported. I, I think the country needs no new laws at all. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. 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 All we need to do is to enforce the laws that we have, and we'll go back to where we were, or at least okay. we'll 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 start off with a with a sustainable economy if we could merely enforce the laws that we have. Okay. The problem is that we have people who buy who by paying for campaign contributions and mm -hmm. campaigns, mm -hmm. they're allowed to get a pass and and they don't have to comply with the law so that the 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 people who enforce law then have to go pick on small people like a cab driver right and they and or maybe uh, a driver and 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 ticketing and stuff like that yeah. they, they try to Press show me. law enforcement yeah. or they're picking on people smoking somebody pot. smokes a pot yeah, yeah. oh boy we're gonna bust them and Two give and them a half million people yeah and give them sixty thousand right. dollars a year to well do that. they could send them to no, harvard but, no, you but, went to harvard no, but wait a minute that it cost you sixty thousand it, dollars? It, not quite that much not when I went there. Yeah. But who do you th <laughs> see? When you say it costs sixty thousand dollars mm -hmm. to the politicians that are corrupt, mm -hmm. that sixty thousand dollars is a gift that they give to their friends mm -hmm. because their friends set up prisons, and that money goes to them who run the prisons. And it is a growth industry. Oh, absolutely. One of our growth industry oh, absolutely. It's a great, That's a great, great growth. Yeah. yeah Two we, and a half million, I think, yeah. nationally now. Okay. Now what? What happens is dope. that I mean, there, crazy. there's a bidding contest going on by people. Who set up prisons? They have one set of jails that are in the the jungles of Florida, of, of Georgia, really? and they only charge four dollars a day to handle to feed people and incarcerate them. Wow. Other people, it, let's say near Minnesota or or near Minneapolis, might charge twenty dollars a day because it costs more to feed people in, near in a city. You got the so, old chain gang. Yeah. So yeah, so, right. so so they the they, they sell gang. these. They sell yeah. the inmates for four dollars a day. Yeah, yeah. And then the pre, the put inmates are put to work. Yeah, right. <laughs> where they get a hundred dollars a day making shoes. No, it? no, that's the American system. Oh, now. right. Yeah, the yeah. American dream is to be put in jail where you don't have to work that hard mm -hmm. if you can find a nice soft thing to do. That's mm -hmm. the American dream now. Uh -huh. Don't don't dream about owning your own business and and being prosperous like that. Just try to survive mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. There's a real revolution going on that is eliminating the middle class. The a lot of people at the bottom have no hope at all. Yeah, so so I I, I've it's got awful. I've got a change. Let, let right, me tell yeah, you, do. Let's tell you what the yeah, change you talk, is. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm let me tell you what the change is. The, the change is this that I recognize that law enforcement would have stopped the illegality that's going on that creates the fortunes that destroys our economy. Yep. The, the fortunes that are made that are illegal draw money away and have created what I call a vig economy, a Vigorous. vigorous economy yeah. where you have too much gambling, you have too much of the uh, uh, monopolies, too much copyright and trademark where they take money away from you with with inconsequential things but they enforce it in court yeah. they have set asides they have the the members preferences like a, a, a legislator sets aside money for favored groups with all of that stuff set aside there's mm -hmm. nothing left for you and me yeah. the the favored people get yeah. our money and you and I have to pay for it always has been i think you well know, it doesn't like have to be you, but you, you we should say on the okay. side that you did take finally yeah. after yeah. Uh, uh, you know getting yourself going and everything yeah. you took a law degree at Harvard. Yes. And uh, you're an antitrust and civil rights right, lawyer. Right. Among other things. I'm and a trademark lawyer, you, securities trademark, lawyer, copyright lawyer, right. a real estate foreclosure. And you're yeah, imbued yeah, with yeah. a tremendous sense yeah. of, uh, uh, of uh, outrage yeah. at the lack of justice within our overall society for the mass of the people and think that there's a need for their to be operative uh, systems which can serve the interests of the uh, masses in terms of asserting their rights rather than ob uh, asserting upon them their obligations to uh, adhere to the law of the uh, of the slave master. I, I'm above. Is that too? I'm, I'm above the idea of sticking with with. Uh, Justice. I think. I think justice smells more of like court activity. Okay. I, I, I'm way right. beyond that. Okay. I'm right. way beyond that. Right. What, what I'm saying is that that 
we don't need any more laws in the country. Okay, if yeah. we would merely enforce the laws that we have, we wouldn't have the troubles that we have. And we don't enforce them because it's against we, the We don't enforce the them because do the wealthy elect people who then them. don't enforce them. Okay. They appoint people to legislative, to, to, a, to federal agencies mm -hmm. who don't do anything. You and know that. And the Supreme Court says they're going to be able to contribute, corporations are going right. to be able to contribute well, of course. in massive well, dimensions uh, it, to the all, media. all of the yeah, institutions have yeah. been corrupted. Yeah, right. They're all, they're all yeah, weakened. We're so in that agreement they, on that. Okay. Yeah. So here's the solution. A corrupt is a strong word. I like to use that because okay. it isn't what's good for the people. It right. is it is corrupted away from working for the people that works against them. Okay. I call that corruption. Okay. Now, not that a legislator necessarily profits from getting money. Or he, it can he, be he, done. He, he may spend it just to hold his office, but he, he has to... He has to stop giving benefits to the public, to his voters. Yeah. He has to lie to his voters right. in order to get reelected. Yeah. And they make promises which none of them can keep. Uh -huh. But I've found one position in America that has the ability to make promises that the, that the elected official can keep. And that would be the and that's the New York General State Attorney State General. State but you have to understand why this is so. Okay. Yes. Yeah, spell okay. it out. Spell okay. It number out, number one, the New York State Attorney General, as thirty-six other attorneys general in the United States, are elected. Okay. New York. They, they is can't elected be fired. Yet. Okay. California is elected. Okay. They cannot be fired. Cannot be fired. They don't have to ask the governor for approval. They they have they the have, the state the national attorney general is appointed, right? Yes. Okay. By by yeah, the by the president. By the Congress. Oh, you yeah. know, the president nominates yeah. them in Congress. And, and, then he approves and they, they can be fired. Yeah. They can be terminated. Yeah, right. So that, that by it the is executive. Well the president and his advisors really have a great uh, amount of input of what's going to happen with the attorney general. The yeah. attorney general sort of follows the policy by the people that put him there. Otherwise, he won't be there for long. And the president's elected. Right. Well, yeah. the president has his advisors mm -hmm. that tells the president what but, to do. Uh, the attorney general is elected. Are there other offices in the system of the United States where people are elected? Prosecutors. Prosecutors? Uh, yeah, let me explain with yeah, prosecutors. Yeah, you understand the law. Okay. Yeah. okay. Prosecutors are elected throughout the United States at the county level. At the county level. There is a decentralization of prosecution for criminal conduct. Why has that emerged out of our history? Well, it, it has because it's political to bring it down to that level where they know the crimes. They're down to the level where the crimes take place at the county level they and the court level and the jail level. Mm -hmm. So instead of having a jail and a court and all that in every little town in a county, they have a one county prosecutor called a DA uh -huh. who runs for office and is elected. And he has prosecutorial discretion to go after people or not as he sees fit. How, he doesn't how? call the governor. And he doesn't call the assembly is or the senate. Is there any check on him at all? Could you have a runaway thing? No, you, you have you have you have a greater amount of prosecutorial discretion than ever before. The courts are giving them the right to be wrong, even though it's corrupt. They're they're giving everything away and saying you no longer have a right to sue a prosecutor, no matter how bad the prosecutor is. You have no rights against Couldn't the prosecutor. Couldn't that be dangerous in well, the, in the, the, the direction the, of tyranny? Well, I mean, you, well, yeah. uh, the answer is yeah. th though. Wouldn't you agree, though, that with the amount that with this system of criminal prosecution that I've now defined, yeah. that we have far more criminal prosecutions than we want, than you and I want? Yeah. Do, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, and a lot of now, innocent now, people. Are, now, wouldn't you know. it be something if we? De also, a it, lot of wouldn't it be something it? if we decentralize the civil prosecutions okay. and not brought them down to the county level, uh -huh. but brought them down to the town level? So okay. you had 40,000 people like me, one in each town in the country, bringing actions to enforce the rights of individuals rather than their duties. Wait a minute. Wouldn't that they be something? They don't have a, a mandate to do that no. now? No. Well, that one guy at the top is going to worry about 400 little towns? Right. Now, forget it. No, yeah, of yeah. course not. Where the little town, everybody knows it. Right. Everybody. The, the little the town, big. when you walk into the to the town attorney general's office, right. I, I want to create yeah. a town attorney general. He's going to know the, the dynamics of the town. He's going to yeah. know what's happening. Right. And if enough people come into him with a problem, he will know what to do and he can act on it and sue the wrongdoers, collect money, for the benefit of the town, and that's what I want a town attorney general to do. Why I hasn't that emerged out of history? Because I don't know. It, okay. it, it's a natural. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it something seems that it's in something the that should be. Of the Constitution. Be, and he, the, here's you know, what happens: higher in angels towns, for our purpose, towns yeah. and villages, yeah. up to now, have been dividing the spoils 
of Among politics. Among the local rich, they're local. No, by zoning. Uh, the only thing they know is zoning. Mm -hmm. When they get together in a town meeting, it's about zoning. And Walmart comes in and says they want a permission, and then there's all sorts of haggling and, and so on. And then Walmart says, if you don't give me permission here, I'm going to go over here, and yeah. I'll set up the store, and then you right. get no tax money. So, so That kind of thing goes on internationally. That, that, well, too, that's right? going on in America as yeah. the, as the right. way that these people at the lowest level of government are trying to cope with the economy, mm -hmm. but they don't. They need somebody sophisticated, like an attorney general, who will understand when when bad product is being offered to them, mm -hmm. when phony derivatives and 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 people are selling stuff that's going to hurt the economy. Mm -hmm. You need to have more sophistication than zoning. Zoning is not enough to protect you. Guns don't protect you. The, not against Wall Street. Mm -hmm. You need a Wall Street lawyer to protect you. You need some sophistication of legal. Mm -hmm. representation and you don't have it generally in a small town you have zoning you yeah, have zoning oh uh, yeah, yeah and particularly for the city you don't you used to have a thing like legal aid well that's where that's somebody nothing could argue that, for individual that's, rights and yeah, that, look, but it doesn't serve do, do you think that you could maintain an antitrust suit with your income I uh, know I could I can't no I can't and you've got a huge and I income. can do the antitrust suit yeah, I, I can't maintain it you could get rid of all those lawyers you know, well the point is be the, lawyers the point is drive, that if me. you're going to enforce the law in America for the benefit of its people mm -hmm. you're going to have to have the government providing the money to do it the people that's interesting that is what we that's need very we do we enforce our duties with uh -huh. the government with prosecutions yeah, at, sure. at, Put them in so jail why not enforce joint, our you know? rights yeah. we're losing our rights because no one's there to enforce them uh -huh. so that's why we need a decentralization of the attorney general the awesome power of the attorney general should be brought down to the town and village and county level and they ought to be bringing suits against the wrongdoers to recover the money being stolen from the town that'd be great that'd well that's be, what that's what i've been advocating know, it's a wonderful life. You have potters. Right, of course. And I, you have Potter had all so, the assets. So, so, and so, that's, so, so that's number operative. one, number yeah. one, do you agree mm -hmm. that putting in a town attorney general in every town and village uh, in the United States could work wonders in enforcing our rights? Well, I would have to say certainly prima facie or something. It sounds like a good worth idea trying. to me that somebody looking trying. out for the worth interests trying. of the people. So yeah. th that's the most important reform that we have is to have someone enforcing our rights because if we don't enforce them, we're going to lose them. Uh, are there elements that would want to do that or would be operative in that well, way? And then it could be also self-financing. When, pe when people run, it could finance. When, when people run for county prosecutor. Yeah. Why, why do you think they run for county prosecutor? Trying to build a political resume? For themselves only. Yeah, yeah. So they, they can become, become a judge a or the governor yeah. or the president yeah, or the right. senate. Right. Right. That, that's what they're in it for. Right. Build up a a and, 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 and they do that by harming the, the community. Yeah. The net effect is that they really hurt the community. 97% 90, of the people that they accuse of a crime are forced into pleading guilty, whether they're guilty or not, whether or not they could have had a trial to get off because we don't want everyone. Exactly. The, there, there's too many people found guilty because they plead guilty. That, yeah, and because they the prosecutor, the prosecutor has all the Tools. Yeah, he can he can threaten them with thirty years. And he does, and, and, yeah, and, and therefore does. it's very unfair. It, and then they can't have okay. any redress. And okay. there's no and they're rousing now, people now, up supposing, in Harlem. Supposing, Do you realize they're okay. rousing I people know. inordinate. Ninety percent of the rousting of city by the police in New York City are brown and black okay. folk. Now supposing that and you have racial profile. Supposing in a town yeah. like in a county you might have twenty or forty towns. Yeah. Imagine if you had 40 people like me, one in each town, <laughs> as, a, as a town attorney general, who are bringing lawsuits yeah. for the benefit of the town. For the benefit of the okay, Pope. Okay, now who do for you think... For the benefit of the Pope yes. against Mr. Potter. Right, who do you now, think... Now, Mr. Potter, everybody would have been on Mr. Potter's listen, side because he had all the fo money. Focus on the county yeah. prosecutor. Yeah. If the county prosecutor really is, thinks he's going to become elected to a higher post, right. he's going to have 40 people that are going to take away that luster because being able to convict people versus people who are going to raise money for the town and better the town, the prosecutor doesn't have a chance to win anything at all. Hey, that's interesting. The town that's attorney really general is competition yeah. against uh, or for the criminal justice system, which is in excess. Uh -huh. The right. criminal justice is in excess, but we can counter it, and we need to counter it with people like me 
as a town attorney general. Now, that's the most important reform now, that we need. Now, the fix is in. The, they the, say the you town, can't fight city hall. The town you can't, can you know, hire one you know. without any legislation. They can hire a town attorney general, appoint him if they want. They should, and they sh and, and without an election. Th no, th well, they can appoint. Them. I'd like yeah. to see them elected, uh -huh. but to start off, we need to s at least get if somebody you, there appointed. There are some towns where the no, people there's none in America. Are there's none in America yet. None no. in America. Okay. None. I'm you creating. Want to start something new. I'm yeah. creating that post. Okay. Now, the second thing I want to create is a an, a uh, a uh, tuition-free equivalency college in the area of every town, village, so that it, ha it needs more than a town. It has to have an area. And it will be for residents only, mm -hmm. and it will be free, and it will not grant a degree because it won't comply with the requirements of the state. The state requirements are that you have to have well, yeah. a million books and so much yeah, green and right. so many houses and this and that. So and many it, boxes. And, and, yeah, and, and, it, and none of it is for educational purposes. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that you can have a stripped-down college with essentials only and you can run a better educational program to give people a much better education at a cost of $2,000 a year in uh, with a classroom of 30 people. What are you going to teach? What's the curriculum? Well, the curriculum would be... A more modern curriculum, but it would allow them. They would know how to create landing pages. They would know how What's to. What's a landing? Well, page? see that you don't even know. I have no idea well, what okay. a landing page is. Have I've you never ever heard have it. you ever clicked on one of those Google ads? Um, to the right of the when a Google ad I don't comes think up. I ever have. have you ever I, done a Google search? Have you ever done a Google search? Oh, of course. Do you ever see those little kind little boxes on the right hand side that parrot your words? If those you, are the ones that don't. Those are Google to, ads. Yeah, okay. Those right. are pay per That's click. That's how they make money. Yeah, I so guess. if you click on one of those ads, mm -hmm. where do you land? On the ad, I guess. No, so. you land on the person's landing page. The landing page of the person from the, the ad. when you the one who runs the ad puts in a link to his own website, mm -hmm. and when you click on the ad, it goes to his website landing and page. And he can tell you something. And then he can sell you something. So right. that's a landing page. Oh, oh okay. okay. Okay, that's a term. Okay. Another so, new cyber term. Well, it, it, it's, it's old. It's well, old, and we, people need to know that because that's how you generate income today. Well, that way Google does. Yeah. Okay. Well, Google, but the people who advertise also generate income. Of course. And they hope that people go to their landing page and then buy whatever they're offering, right. motors or television commercials. Tremendous or, competition for the few, uh, uh, the little bit of buying power that the people have. So, the so, advertising. so the it's what, not the other way around. What I would creating okay, what the needs. school it's would the other way around. what the school would teach people. people are too poor. The the school would teach people what they need to what they need to know to compete effectively in today's society. Well, now there you see you but, and I come up against okay. something because I'd like to see everybody leisure. Well. And, in and, order and to, I, I'm saying that they would have a choice, but the the mm -hmm. curriculum would allow those that want to be brought up to a high standard to do so at no cost to themselves. That would they, be able, still a way in which they could earn money. Well, the way the, the way we, we need to, you're going to have to still have everybody be on the okay. earning money. Yeah. Okay, but and that's the main the, thing. The, the curriculum, the is. curriculum would be one a very practical curriculum. It would teach people to to give them English and would give other courses, mathematics and stuff, but it would be very practical in today's economy Why with, is this with a computer. important for the Attorney General thing you're talking about? Because the Attorney General is the only... the people do what the, they the want? The Attorney General is the one office in the country that you, a, people can look to for advice on sustainability. The things that I'm offering create a sustainable society. Well, the sustainable society is one where people have enough money to buy what it is they need to live a good life they want to lead. It, it, it tries, That's the main thing. My, my idea of sustainability is that we have, we manufacture renewable energy. Well, that's getting off on another issue. And, and that why we have, and, and that we have credit unions that don't charge usury. Okay, okay. And that we, and that we well, have. Okay. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to create a sustainable town. Yeah. And you want everyone working. Well, well, well if I may, I understand okay. what you're saying, right. and I appreciate it. And right. the, everything is. It's right. like because everything is in this universe is one seamless web. Everything is connected to okay. everything else. It's a Gaia universe we live in, and all of that. We understand everything's connected like an organism right. or something like that. But you coming up with the idea of a attorney general who's going to be on the side of the people against the vested interests locally and so forth, why do you have to tie it into all these other things to begin to sound 
like a macro view of the whole world economy that will require changes that you see as justice? Why not because, just the attorney general because we, on the we side don't, of the we don't because people? because the attorney general is the only government agency in the country that would help people in that respect. There's in, no one else out there that can put it together. Wait a minute. The, the attorney general would help to establish an educational facility locally, or yes. one that would allocate tasks, or all no, these no, other kinds no. of things. No, no. What I'm what? saying is that. That there's no, there, there is no, there is no, the government, the attorney general not only would bring suit in order to allow the town to, to, to allow people to have a sustainable economy. Okay, let's say like this, a movie. Everybody right. knows the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. You got Potter. Right. Potter owns everything. That was right. Lionel Barrymore. Okay. It was great. Okay. It was a, a grunge, right. a grinch. And everything. Then you had the wonderful Jimmy Stewart with the savings and loan, and he was the good guy okay. and everything. And all of the interests were about to go to Potter because he had all the ownership. So you would have an entity okay. that would help... Jimmy Stewart let, 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 and the people let, let me, and the me, savings me, and loan let, and the let good me, people let me explain. against the evil people. Let me explain. Who, do you understand? Let, the let, let, me, let me explain what you're talking about. Mm. Potter, Pottersville. Potter, Pottersville, Pottersville was the great, well, one of the classic usurers. Yes. That, that was what the he basically. Is. Okay, no, but but okay. let me let me let me continue with that All thought. Right. So I, as the attorney general, have to assess the law and see how I can deal with users as attorney general. The federal government has said that the banks and credit card companies are permitted to charge usury. They do, and, 20, we're, and we're not allowed to stop them. Right. Okay, I but, 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 but let, me, let me continue. Let yeah. me, they came from the Interstate Commerce Clause in the Constitution. Mm. That, that's what the, the court has ruled, that the Interstate Commerce Clause says that a bank in Delaware that has no usury laws is allowed to sell its product in New York, even though it's usurious, and, it, and did, New York yeah. can't stop yeah, they it. They've Island. said that. It, does, it didn't have to be but that historically, way. Historically, all, all of our wisdom leaders, from Confucian to Buddha to Jesus to Mar everybody said uh, bad. usury, uh, proscribed right. usury, and they've all gotten but, around But it. the banks, have, all the, the banks got in charge of the U.S. government, well, and now... The banks, the Dukes well, the banks of, have been uh, in Venice charge for a long time. Yeah. So, so the banks have been ruling the, the country for a long time now. This country. Yes, yes. Okay. and and maybe other countries as well. The right. banks are, you know, they're. I think, the international I think, order I think international do. bankers have a lot more in common with each other than they do with you and me. Oh yeah. No okay. Doubt. It's like so a, that when a we gave away class, trillions yeah. of dollars, we yeah. didn't give it away only to American banks. Okay. Yeah. Right. We gave it to Deutsche Bank. We yeah. gave it to other banks. Right. right? We right. gave it to a lot of banks. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because they're like the well, ruling, you know, uh, kings because of because well. I don't know why we did it, mm. but but, the, but, but but you but here's the important thing now mm -hmm. that the attorney general would understand the legal aspects now of usury, and try to help the community get around those things that we can't attack directly or serve the interests of people so, who are badly so, used. So so what power, I would say yeah. is that the the attorney general can give information to a town of how they can set up a a locally owned credit union that will not charge usury. Now, okay. is that a useful function for the attorney general? It relates to usury. Well, they could encourage that be happening. Well, well that's what I, yeah. so I want the yeah. attorney general to be an information provider okay. to extend the the ability of the of the attorney general to create sustainability okay. in our in our economy. And it's in the interest of the folks. It's in the interest, right? In the local interest right. of the uh, local. Right. So uh, I'm going to uh, facilitate uh, setting up a stock exchange in order to finance small okay. business. That's why, uh, so I'm not going to set up. I'm not going to own the exchange. I'm going to show people how we can set it up, and I will license it. I uh -huh. will approve it. Uh -huh. So I can I can set up models that they can adopt. So okay. I, I can facilitate the change to creating sustainable economies at the and local you think, level. You think we have an interconnected thing that, that would it add is. up to? Would it add up to a national platform in terms of a national elective process uh, you, for, you, let's say, the president of the United States? It, it probably or wouldn't make much a of a difference. It probably wouldn't make much of a difference because you got the Democrats and Republicans. If, if you have a town that can make itself. Economically sustainable. It'd be a great model, would it not? Others will do it. Uh -huh. Others will follow, and politics becomes less important because if the town knows how to act 
to function for itself, you don't really need the government telling the town what to do. Uh, right. Right. So right. the government becomes more and more irrelevant. And more and more people would focus on. It of course. Because it's working. Now, okay. Now, yeah. so, so, around, so do you, you know, like the, the do you like the concept of the town attorney general? I do. I like. Do it you very like much. the concept? I like do you like the concept of a tuition free equivalency college? Well, that I'm not so sure about and everything. Well, I don't people see, can't afford a college otherwise. Well, they don't need. It. I mean, nowadays you. you I mean, I don't quite understand education. Education is they want to specialize. Education, it, it, it's all everything's coming up. Okay, uh, the, the word internet. college all bothers you. The world, the world, the whole the world college bothers you. How about an organized curriculum that will try to help people maximize their 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 lives through either income or happiness or whatever. We can provide a lot of well, different types. Well, those types. things are mixed up, okay. about, Carl. But, 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 it, it gets into my thing. I don't want to okay. go into my thing. My okay. thing is I think we need to have a way of distributing ownership of capital okay. instruments as a way of distributing uh, demand. Okay. I, Keynes okay. said we're going to have massive unemployment. That's coming. We're going to have to have an alternative way. I think okay. that some people talk about socialism. We, we, we That's have a big general political thing. Education but, is one of the biggest items well, in America, and I want to offer it free because okay. it's too costly, and the people can't afford the student well, loans. Well, there's a lot of websites with people who have ideas about things. Huffington Post, all kinds well, of people have websites about what they think is needed. The attorney, see, see, see that's that, 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 that's you don't, this, you don't want something man. Here is the problem, and something here they have the to problem. do in order. To have income. And what here it is, is, the is how are people going to have income to do here, here, and buy what they want in here, the material world? Here is the problem. Mm -hmm. If you put in the word education, good education, you'll get 10 million or 100 million websites. I suppose. So, so you and I don't know which website to go to. Exactly. But if the only elected official in the country can pick out the best things to back, you then have well, one, you have a focal base. point, you have a focal point, a gathering point, so that people who are trying to do the right thing can have one place to go. Well, for that, you'd have to have some sort of vision of what it is that interconnectedly is well, needed, that, and that's a different kind of thing. Education is used to, well, uh, to specialize have, everybody out and be, make them inept have, in terms of having an overview of things. We don't have, have any vision. Have, have, some faith that if we have one government agency, the Attorney General of New York State, that is trying to find a way to create sustainable economies locally, mm -hmm. that we're going to be looking at those things and offering more than anyone else is offering. Right. But but we're up. We're someone that people can look to. They can find us, and we will get publicity. A candle. It, it can, it's can a beacon. See, it's a, a beacon. beacon for, a beacon. That's it. Right. We can have our logo. Right. So, so, so we're logo. not only uh, a big beacon. We're not only the nation's. We're not only the nation's chief sheriff. The, mm. the sheriff of the nation. The sheriff, the sheriff of Wall Street. Remember, the sheriff of Nottingham. But we, we are also a beacon man. for the 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 results of what the sheriff is trying to do. Yeah. We have more than just enforcing law. We have ways that we can help people where the law doesn't favor what we're looking for. We can find workarounds. Okay, well, that's good. That's so good. That's I what was I'm, trying it's to a separate around. all okay. that other number larger two. pattern. Okay, so number one. Just having number one, somebody representing the people at the local no, level number one, with an ability to raise money. Number one, a turn, a local attorney or attorney general enforcing laws for the uh, enforcing the rights of people. Number two, giving them a free education where they don't have student loans and they can have, they can develop to the extent they want for free in their own local institutions. Well, number three. Mm, Autodidactic. Number three, oh. the, the system prevents small businesses from hiring people by having an onerous payroll reporting system. I have created a the concept of a payroll administrator so that all small businesses in an area and even households that hire babysitters and others can check their employees into a single payroll administration which will then be the employer of record mm -hmm. and they, there will only be one disability policy instead of 800 only one workman's comp policy instead of 800, mm -hmm. and there will never be any termination of the policies, there will never be any audits, and people like me, a small business person, can hire and fire at will and create expansion and opportunities when it's when we're able to do so, but we can contract when we're not able to do so. That means that when I can afford to put myself on payroll, I will do so mm -hmm. and get Social Security benefit for it. And when I can't afford to do so, my whole business doesn't collapse so that I can hire people and have no employees for six straight weeks, 
have five employees for four weeks, no employees for three weeks. You, I, I, small you have flexibility. Flexibility. Yeah, and I can, I can create this. Time, they call yeah, it. Yeah. I can create this with a payroll administrator. So that, to me, as a small business person, mm -hmm. would allow me to expand my business. Mm -hmm. And that, and, 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 and it will create the, jobs. It will create a Cash lot of jobs. It will yeah, create yeah. 10 million jobs in the country if we allow that. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and it's not a matter. It's not a matter of allowing it. Mm -hmm. If anyone will just do it. Mm -hmm. It's legal. Well, you're stepping up to the plate, Mr. I'm, I'm stepping up to Have the plate. Have you pointed I, to the center I'm going field? To, I'm going Remember to facilitate. I'm going to facilitate these things that okay. will create a sustainable economy. Okay, good. Now, the okay. final thing is. Final quick, the, and then I want to get down okay. to the realities of the final, how you could get into that. The, the final thing is that I've that a town of 10,000 people has $160 million a year of unsold hours for the members of that town. Okay. It's like an airplane that takes off empty. Okay. People that don't work are hours that are not used. Mm -hmm. A town of 10,000 people has $160 million at $30 an hour uh -huh. of unused time. I can bring in about $40 million of that or $12,000 12, $12, per family by my website that is a task marketplace where people put their tasks or goods that they want to offer and we can then market that in a 25-mile radius around the town with yeah. low-cost advertising. Yeah. People will say, gee, I want somebody to tutor quantum mechanics. Right. I want somebody to shovel my sidewalk. Fix with the a, plumbing thing. Fix the plumbing. Yeah. I don't know who to go to. Yeah, right, right, so we right. can create a self-employment. Yeah, that would be very exciting. We can, we can create self-employment. Why isn't the government doing this? Well, okay. Why? Well, because they got this idea of employment being something that's 20 years, 20, 30 years. Well, what about self-employment? We yeah. all know that self-employment in small businesses generates jobs. Why are we stifling self-employment? That's the beginning of small business. Okay. We, okay. And we've, we've stifled it. And you want to encourage I'm going it. to create it. Okay, good. That's and, what you okay, want to do. That's what I want to do, among All other things. All right, that's good. The now, plan. how does one, you are there, and I, I'm here to see you. You, are, you, 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 I don't know how the hell you work and get so much energy to do all the things you do. You put up a website in a couple of hours or something. You got it up and you got hundreds of them, and you do it, and you're so efficient. Family's great, great guy. And I know you're all for the interest of justice now and you're a very valuable person and you work very well I congratulate you on such a very well led life I don't know how you can keep it up at the pace that you do and I uh, commend you for that now how is it uh, you say you're running for I'm, I'm now, nominated you, you for have, you have had some truck I don't suppose you're going to get a, a, a nod from the Democratic Party the Republican Party you've had some truck with the Greens or something the Greens now you're yeah. thinking of dealing with what is called the Libertarian Party well they've party. nominated me already they, all right now let's say yeah. that's the thing a Libertarian right. Party the Libertarian Party you got all these tea is bag the third people. you got right, all these well, tea bag people there's and a lot of all, dissent. There's a lot of there's a lot of tension and discontent right. within the air that you could use right. in order to uh, draw but, upon but, for your but campaign. But no, nobody has any vision of what to do. Well, you do. I do. You have a good vision. I, but no one else has. Put out there. I mean, I have a vision of what can be done. Somebody and has to do it. The, but, right? the, but why is it that no one else has a vision? Please I don't tell know. me that. Why is it you that, know that why? people are so visionless? Let, let me because tell you why. Been co -opted. Let me tell you why. Uh, well. It depends let me tell on you what why. kind of a vision you Well, let, let me tell you why. First of all, Congress is set up where people, <laughs> only two or three or five people will handle uh, farming affairs. Yeah. And they don't get involved That's in military. Do you see that? Or they don't get involved in education. That's so that they, they, they've taken and subdivided our legislators. It's called so, divide and conquer. Right. So they don't really have an overall vision. Well, they've done that intellectually. I mean, like Fuller. Right. My, you know, I love right. Fuller. I think he's great. Right. I mean, he's the best mind in the history of mankind and thinks system about everything, comprehensive. And that's the way things are. And, but they're not at all worried about the dollar. And, and also. They're worried about the bright ones. And so what they okay. do, they actually fund. G graduate schools to get the best minds coming up so specialized out in one of the little tunnel visions that are allowed within the system that I don't think about this, I don't think about that, right. do not think about that. And so they're not thinking comprehensively the way the grand masters who run right. things do, right. so they can never become right. a I, I, because I, they're all tunnel vision I and figured it's out called intellectual divide and conquer. Because I'm a lawyer, I find it easier to go into a lot of different fields. I but brought, you're not a doctor? You're well, not, you I've know, brought together yeah. a lot of 
have different disciplines. You sure have. And I'm able to see one cohesive way of, of achieving <coughs> the goals that we are looking within for. Within the law. Yeah, within <coughs> the law. Yeah, right. And, okay. and to the extent and the law, and, money, and if yeah. the law isn't going to help us in an area, I can do a workaround. Yeah, you've done a lot of that. Workarounds, yeah, very right. important. So That's entrepreneurial, I, yeah. yeah. So I, I can offer a, a good package, and I do offer this. Yeah. But no other, co no other person running for office has anything like that. And the reason for that is that if they're elected, they're not going to be able to really do 10 or 20 things like I'm going to do. I have the yeah. power to do those 20 things. Right. But if a person is elected to Congress, they have no power to do anything. They're subcommittee. So, so they're making promises. Yeah. What they say is that I'm for abortion, or mm. I mean I'm not for abortion, mm. or I'm, I'm for this and I'm for that. Yeah. It's all crap. Not, yeah, it, 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 the promises yeah. are bullshit, total yeah. bullshit, and they can't deliver on anything. Uh -huh. And therefore, they all make promises. None of them can deliver. We know that that's the game. In my mm -hmm. case, I'm the one candidate in America that has things that can be done because I've analyzed the office. The office that I'm running for is one of, of discretion. Now, and, it, and it's the no. it's a, it's sort of like a prosecutorial discretion. Right, I have the right. right to do it, and no one has the right to stop right, me. Right, I can right. do it. So okay. I'm listing the things that I can do. I plan to do those things, and I can create the change that no other person in the country can do because Congress can't do it, right. and no individual member of Congress can do it. The president can't do it. Uh -huh. Nobody can do it. But, but one person can, the, the Attorney General of New York State. Mm -hmm. Secondarily, the Attorney General of California. Should get it, could, should get involved, but he's not a sheriff of Wall now, Street. Now you were talking about they could raise money, so that there would be some money that would be so, and that you could, it, it would be self. Uh, financing. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, let me ask this right away. Let me ask yeah, you this. Money talks. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Would people be interested in a show such as the one that you and I are just? creating right now. Mm. Would they be interested in listening to this? I don't know. We're going to put it on the well, web. Well, let, let me on. ask. Let me ask. Yeah. Do you think people, if they heard it, if I created, I so, if yeah. I created a 30-minute infomercial and ran it at my expense mm -hmm. and asked people that if you believe in what I'm talking about, will you please contribute to my campaign, would that pay for the ad? I think you would within the, if I may, within yes. the current right. context. A lot of people right. say you can't fight City Hall. Don't well, even try. you got Democrat, Republican. Well, that's it. If you can't fit in there, because it's all the fiction. But a lot of people now but believe now that we need... But now there's such a, uh, a rend in the society now. There's so much discontent, sort of inarticulate often right. and so forth. So I think it might be up for grabs. So We've had people in the Green Party right. who are in favor of, uh, you know, green technology. Green and doesn't want to win. Green doesn't want to win. No, you say, they, okay, they, don't, so they don't. They, they only want 50,000 votes. You're, you're, you're going... Yes, and answer to your question, I think the infomercial is well worth putting together. You could do it because you're a I'm, great I've talent. I've done it. I've written You can it. do I, it. I did. I, 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 I'm writing it right you now. You could write it. Yeah. You'd knock it out with an. So, half so an here's, the you're so here's the secret and weapon. Here's the secret weapon. Here's the secret weapon. That there might be ten thousand outlets throughout the country where the infomercial could run both cable, television, and radio. There's right. a, there's at least ten thousand. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm really guessing at you that. I don't I don't know the numbers. Over here, they could okay. Put it so up so the there's. Why don't you start a program well, here, Carl? So, I've so, been on to you okay, for a thousand okay. years to become a producer. Okay. So. I am a producer, but one that doesn't produce. <laughs> well, I know. Yeah, you just come on to other programs and that. You, that. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. because he really is the busiest man I think I've ever in my life met. Yeah. You just yeah. do not stop. The Energizer Bunner is well, put in I've the, got, the, I've got the, the dust by you. I've got good ideas, and yeah. I'm trying to implement them. Great family, and, and, too, yeah. and Thank you. Mm. I see my vision is that what I'm doing is the cure, and no one else has anything. Yeah, I, no, no one else has anything. There might be yeah, other people yeah. who think that way. That's yeah. sort of like well, a, a but, but if they Buckminster Fuller said there's nothing exists except compression, which is one part. It goes molecular, even down into molecular, and then there's tensional integrity that goes through the hole. So the compression is sort of like geodesic, and then it goes through the hole. And 308 okay. billion years ago, it was like steady state at a level okay. of unicellular cell. And then there's a tension that goes okay. through the if, hole. If you would and what they want is something that resonates on the whole of that 
And that would be like a kind of Western or male force or something that has existed in the universe. Okay. And you are a person okay. of vision it, who sees the things okay. as interconnected. Okay. And there here, should here, be places here, for people to thing. think that way rather than dealing with one little subpart right, right. of the overall okay. system. He, here's the thing, that I have an overall plan. I, I've elucidated this plan. I've never heard anyone with a plan at all. But I, I'd be willing to say that if anyone that has a plan wants to present it to a jury of 12 people, I'll present my plan, they present theirs. Right. Their, their plan That's is good. not... Yeah. Their Let plan, a million plans move, right. They, right? they won't do anything. And why, why doesn't the government have a jury that will listen to these right. plans? I think that's because great. they, they don't want them. Well, they, don't, they don't want anything. Well, maybe not. They maybe don't. Of course they don't. Why would they, want to stop, why would they want to stop the money that's coming in right. okay. by well, doing that's, anything to that's change that? That's always the case. Mr. Potter was okay. doing very well in everything. But anyway, the point is, we're getting down to the end, and we want to help you. We're here to help. Okay. Love you. So and everything. So why libertarian? Yeah. Oh, what? Why don't we give them now? We'll give it at the end. The website. You put up a website yes. that announces uh, that announces yes. that yes. makes. Why don't you do it slowly for the old crowd? Okay. And then a little fast for the youngsters about what the website is. They can go. Do just say it now. What okay. is the, the website? Okay. The website is Carl one letter at a time. Slow. Carl Write it down, everybody. Get a pencil. Everybody C get a pencil. Okay. C A R L P E R S O N four. Four. The number four. N Y A G dot com. Okay, that's easy. That's Carl Person for N Y A G dot com. Okay, that's all right. That's now my say website. It for the kids. Carl Carl person person for N Y A G dot com. You say it for the kids to be so fast you could never do it. But anyway, it's there, and that's the site. So I put up. My, up. my son created a Drupal site. A Drupal I put the I put the, really I put the information on it. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Now one last thing. We only got a couple minutes left. Yeah. Why libertarian? Well, the Libertarian Party contacted me it. and asked me if I would run. Okay, good. And well, I said, I said absolutely, are... I would love to. And they okay. nominated me. The Libertarian uh, philosophy is one of letting people do their own thing. Right. It's trying not to have government regulation. Mm -hmm. They agree that we need to stop fraud. Yeah. Uh, we have to, uh, so that the libertarians uh, want to see the end of, of, of uh, regulation of drugs, mm -hmm. the end of regulation of prostitution, the end right. of regulation of gambling, mm -hmm. I believe they would agree with that, mm -hmm. the end of regulation of guns, and the recent decision by the Supreme Court Do has... they take equal uh, umbrage at, uh, they take a lot at the government, because they, they were worried, the libertarians are worried about the government intrusion taking over, justifiably. Well, it, justifiably, history. But yeah, what about absolutely. The, the libertarians taking uh, equally interesting interest in opposition to the the power of the large corporations, which are private sector, not government. Well, what about that issue? I, I, I think I think that they are. That I are think important? they're split as to. Uh, I think they many people feel a free market will suffice, and I'm saying, well, uh, the National Libertarian Party and its platform says that where there's fraud, uh, there should be enforcement to stop that. Okay. So part of the part of the uh, biggest companies where they well, what they're doing is is selling a fraudulent product so i don't think there's anything wrong in bringing suit to stop the sales of the fraudulent product now would the libertarian party have to prevail nationally in an election in 2010 for you to be able to realize an election for the city state oh, no, of New York? Oh no, it's all not? it's all separate. It's all separate. Oh, absolutely. So you yeah. think there's an actual chance? Oh, I think there's a good there's chance, a chance that I'm going to win. You could be elected I think so. attorney general. If, if my if now, I, how does that work? Could if you, my infomercial works out, does that I'll, mean I'll win. that the, forgive me for my ignorance? Sure, would sure. it mean that the, whoever's running for the uh, governorship and the other offices within New York would have to also win, like no. the Democrats? They wouldn't everything. have to, but they probably would. I think that the I think that my campaign could carry the ticket if I get a lot of publicity. Mm -hmm. If I don't get the publicity, then I'm not going to win, and, and we're not going to win. But your infomercial yeah. might help with that. I'm hoping that and it's, it's going to be. And also, you nest, yeah. you can nest with the people, and they've come to you. 
with the right. libertarian right. view, right. and you could bring some insight that you have that wrote. Well, you know, the libertarian, green, democratic, Tea Party, and all that. There, there, there's a lot of dispute among all the different people. Right. I, I attended the Libertarian Party convention, and there's a lot of dispute. You okay, know, well, uh, so, all the very yeah. best to you, Carl Pearson, and uh, thank my you best very to the much. Family. Your pleasure. <laughs> the perception, the hardest work, one of the hardest working men in the name of justice in New York City, if not the world.